Aaron, Aaron, have you seen John? I see him. I, yeah, I see him. Sorry, I was just hard at work here. Uh, he's in his office, I think. He's had a rough week. He's kind of down about, I don't know, just hasn't been, you know, himself pretty much. But we really need to get him to do these Thursday thoughts because they help me prepare so much, and I know they help everyone else. And I think they'll probably be pounding on the church doors if he doesn't do these Thursday thoughts. Right. So we have to make that happen. Okay, well, let's uh, try to find him. Yeah, let me finish up my uh, work real quick. i got to just kind of work some things out. All right. All right. Let's go find him. All right. Pretty sure he's still in here. Okay. All right, cool. Hey, what's up? What's going on, John? Oh, not much. We were just thinking, you know, uh, I know you've kind of had a rough week and a little iffy about these Thursday thoughts, but the people need the Thursday's thoughts. You really think so? I know so. What about you, Steve? Do you, you think people really need these? It's an encouragement to us all. Well, I just happen to have a cup of coffee here. Let me give you some thoughts. Now... In the book of Ecclesiastes, I know we're familiar with that maybe, that Solomon, he writes, and at the end of that, he writes to the, the writing of books, there's no ends. But when it comes down to it, the whole commandment of man is to fear God and obey his commands. And I've looked, and there, there, you got these classics like Tozer. you got, of course, C.S. Lewis. We, we have a huge C.S. Lewis fan in our church. And, and there, there's always these great ones. Uh, one, of, one of the ones I love is the Spirit of Revival, which has redone uh, uh, the preaching of Jonathan Edwards, Sinners in the Hands of Angry God, caused a great awakening in our country and in England. Chuck Swindoll writes, uh, and, and you could go on and on. But if we get down to it, uh, God created us, and when he created us, he gave us a job to do. Even before the curse, work existed. And what do most of us do all week? We work. work. And some people love their job. Exactly yeah, right. and I love my job. And I know Steve loves his job. I do. Yeah. But a lot of times, there's a lot of us, as Christians, we're in places we really don't like our job. Can anyone give me an amen on that? Amen. And some of you really enjoy your work. But when it comes down to it, we're going to watch a video Sunday that uh, some of you might have already seen called Work as Worship. And that the major way we're going to change the world is in our workplace, because that is our mission field, that's where we're at, and our attitude, and, and God has given us that job, whether we like it or not, or whether we're there a long time or not, and it's important we understand that. So uh, Sunday we're going to talk about our worship is not something we do on Sunday or for a few minutes together or in some spiritual sort of sense, but our lives are worship and work is a major part of that and takes up that. So uh, in, in the book of Colossians, Colossians chapter 3, um, when Paul is talking, and, and a lot of times we get this, we talk about the family and being a Christian family and Christian values, but he tells us that he's talking to slaves here, and some of you at work might feel like a slave, that in everything we do, not when the master's eye is just on you to win their favor, but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. And that is a commandment in the Bible, so we're going to be talking about that, and hopefully you can see that. Your work is a place where God can shine through you. So uh, join us this Sunday. Hey, John, tell them about the auction. Oh, we're having a little competition Sunday, uh, and I'm just going to leave it there. You've got to watch the video. you got to come Sunday to see that, and uh, I know you will enjoy that. A little creativeness uh, from our youngness. So uh, hope to see you all Sunday. See you guys. And this is a very special video because usually it's all about me, but... Uh, Thanks for listening.